twist my lift. <laughs> That's yes. my only copy. How you doing? The only time I've ever fired a gun that I can remember was when I was in a sort of school thing, sort of army thing at the grammar school, the grammar school, you know. Um, and uh, we got to shoot two two rifles, and I was quite good at it because I got all my bullet holes in the same place, so my grouping was good, but I was in the wrong part of the target. Jeffrey was better at it than I was. Yeah, so I just thought this peculiar experience of shooting all these guns might be an interesting thing to do once in a lifetime. And as I'm in the land, which is almost entirely composed of guns and sand and trees, I thought I'd give it a go. Little boys will always turn things you give them into guns, won't they? Little toys. They give them a stick, they'll turn it into a gun. Give them a sausage, they'll turn it into a gun. Give them a gun. Well, it's already a gun. But they do that. I wonder if there's some kind of basic childhood thing at, at play here, and I'm just going back to my childhood with all my little guns, my man from uncle guns, and my shooting Daleks, and all that sort of stuff. Maybe I just have some deep psychological problem that I haven't yet come to terms with, which involves shooting guns. I've chosen a package which um, I can't remember it's called now, 100 Years Soldier or something, where basically I get to, to, to shoot guns up to 100 years old, so it'll be guns through the ages. So I get a lot of different experiences with handguns and rifles and rat -a -tat, -a tat ones and piao ones and ah uh, ones. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, brother. Just lean into it. Now, you want to lean your head forward, get that cheek up? There you go. Look through that peephole and tip of that front sight right there, brother. Woo! Lean in, brother. I'm sitting in this very lovely leather thingy. Uh, lounge, and I'm reflecting on the recent experience I just had. Uh, I'm a bit underwhelmed actually, to be honest. It was quite good fun to do it, and um, you know, just to kind of do it. But I, it hasn't, I don't know, I'm a bit underwhelmed. Uh, some of the guns were quite heavy, which God, I, could, I couldn't do it in real life, running around, oh no, some of the heavy, and the man was really good, he kept saying, put it in your shoulder. And he kept saying, after every gun, he said, how do you like that one? And I sort of go, oh yeah, it's quite nice, that one, I like that one. And some of them were, um, uh, they, had, they had better sights, they had little um, like red dots, and it was easier to line it up. And, uh, and I only had one target, and I had about, I think about 400 rounds across, I don't know, 15 different sorts of guns, from handguns to machine guns to semi-automatics to rifles. So it's quite good to have that experience. Um, I don't think I'd do it again. The target is, when you look at the target, you probably think, oh, I did quite well, if you look at it. Yeah, look, it looks like I did quite well, doesn't it? Until you realise I was actually aiming for his head. So there we are. So would I recommend it? Um, I don't know. I'm underwhelmed, but I'm, I'm a funny bugger, aren't I? Really? Perhaps it's something everybody should do once, you know, shoot a gun, just see how it feels. It just sort of jumps a bit and makes a noise, you know, and you get funny smells. Quite like the smells, they're quite good done me gun thing. Now I better go and do something else.